Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this ex exhibition match between myself and Shalka. This is a first-person video, one I have not done in a long time. And so I'm going to be playing Vekir. I don't know what Shalka is going to be playing, but we will find out shortly. So, as normal, I'm going to start out with standard 6RP build and sending my Shinvir and Tethvir towards Shalka's base. Bit of a change, I've been realizing recently that sending both Shin and Tethvir out at the start is a better idea than just sending the Tethvir out, since they're better able together to handle anything they encounter, and also the Shinvir isn't that useful for super early expansion for Vekir, in the same way that, say, CISO can do early expansion. So, it's just easier for me to set up both of them as explorers. Also, if you notice, this map, this is Tumi Heroes, this is a map I've shown several times before, but this has been modified quite a bit since the last time. For one thing, there's fewer resource boxes, as I mentioned with Cold Forged, I've been trying to adjust my maps to match that. Also, the teleporters have been removed and changed out for comm hubs, because the thing with teleporters is that, while they are quite interesting to have, they also tended to break the game a bit. It made it really easy for players just to get into the opponent's base within a minute of the game starting, and it was broken, honestly. I don't, I don't know why I didn't expect that, and honestly I kind of did, but it was worth testing and probably it won't be in there in any later versions of this map. Now, my Shinvir and Tethir are almost at the base Shalka has started out at. I don't know if he's going to be still there. I, like I said, I don't know what race he's playing, so he may be playing Grekham and just moving out and doing some sort of super crazy forward proxy rush attack strategy, and I don't know for sure if that's happening, but if it is, it will be certainly entertaining. That will be fun to watch, I suppose, for everyone at home. It'll be very hard for me to play against, because I'm... Definitely playing slow and economical, but it will be very, it should be entertaining if it happens. And let's see, right now he is, he is CISO, he has, well, whatever he's done has not propagated to when I'm looking, I'm just taking care of his marine right now, with the special ops helping support, and, let's see here, my depot has been finished, so I can start building a Zion Tertia when that's ready, and where is my Zion Beer, here's my Zion Beer, send him up to build a few more RPs, and probably just take the north side here, because this map, even though you can see if the opponent is going towards the north side, the north side expansion is still fairly powerful to have. So just going to go with that, get another Zion Turcher, give this one teleportation, because that will allow me to better raid. With Vec gear, they rely a lot in the early game on quick raiding. They aren't great at handling frontal combat until they start getting enough resources to basically pump out an army without having to even think about it. So at this stage in the game, it's really not worth trying to risk my army and trying to rebuild it. It's just too expensive. And now we go. So let's see what Shaka has cooked up right now, trying to see what he has set up to see what to fight against. I don't think he's going for a proxy the way it was the way it looked. He didn't seem to be going for one. He had his main base set up, but I'll double check because it seems like the situation has changed. He has an importer actually blocking off the front, which is a very bizarre place to put an importer. At this stage in the game, they aren't especially cheap, so trying to build it in front, that's just going to get it killed. Mind you, it will buy him some time, but that's also losing him some reserves. So, if he, doesn't need those, if he does not need those reserves, he should be fine. But honestly, I'm not sure how that's going to work out for him. And my aerial control center is done, so I can get... Uh, once... I should get more RPs built up. Those RPs are building up, and my Shin Pulsar should be ready, or should be buildable shortly. Although it looks like I'm running out of resources here. You guys, teleport down here. Because that's some free resources. And I get a Shin Pulsar in order to scout out. Shin Pulsars make great scout units. And I think... Okay, Shaka has gone to the past and he is changing stuff up. He... Let's see, he's sending out a mech to help fight out... Well, okay, it's a mech, so it's not going to be able to do too much. However, this Tethvir is also an anti-air unit. And it has less health than the mech. Oh, an ATHC coming in as well, which... I probably should just deal with directly. Or, actually, you guys should move in, and then... Then you attack. So that the mech's gonna have a hard time getting up to you. Should still be able to get up to here, but at least I'll be using the importer to buy time, rather than... Waiting for... Actually, wait, why am I using the importer? Anyway, I should just be attacking directly. Because I need to know what's going on inside his base. And from here, we have... Okay, so his base isn't doing much, but he does have... Some infantry coming into my base... Dealing a fair amount of damage, actually. Oh boy, that's actually harmful to that RP's health. Okay, you do not upgrade teleport, you just go out straight up attack. I need you to attack because I can't 
actually deal with this properly myself. That's why I build units, because obviously I'm not in this game, I'm simply commanding everything going on! So I need you to do my dirty work, like, let, ah, uh, shoot, okay, well, okay, he caught my Zyndir, gotta go down south and build up there, because he's just be slaughtering any, anything that moves north, including that Zyndir, which I was hoping would last longer, but apparently will not. And what's going on back here, we see, back at the 324 mark, this is when the mech was attacking, and a marine has gone in here to also help defend. Okay, I think this is just a suicide mission for these two guys now. Not much going on here, but they certainly died valiantly. I might as well get them to not die, honestly. I don't see the point in them dying. They can make useful units later on. Or they can just go this way and attack around the side. And back up to when I was looking for the 416 mark, when the... Okay, this... This rear processor has got to move. I cannot have it stay alive here. It will die. And hopefully... Oh, and so will this one. Crap. This is a bad position I'm in. You move over here. And then you move up. And I'll send you back as soon as it's safe. Is it safe? It is safe, actually. Bizarrely enough. Oh, I think there's an HHC around here. Yes, there is. I just heard one cloaking, and it is definitely around here. Move ye back! I need you to live. And I need you to fight as well. But I need you especially to live. Okay, HHC is in view, and we can get rid of it. Go, my Zion Torture! Destroy the competing cloaked unit. Actually, wait. It's a competing cloaked unit. What am I saying? Cloak my Zion Torture, then kill it. Actually, you just break off entirely. So, one Zion Torture going for harassment, another one helping out with the defense, and. Where's my Zion Beer? Oh, right, it went south to help build up more RPs, which I'm going to need very shortly since I am having fewer resources than I did when I first made this build work. Actually, kind of think of it. How was my... Oh. Crap. Yeah, they're dead, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're dead. Shoot. I forgot to undo their moves. Okay, so the, Shin the Shinbeer and Tethbeer went valiantly to their deaths. Valiant suicide. I No, that's not really valiant. That's just stupid. I... Okay, made a bit of a mistake there, but like I said, the Shinbeer and Tethbeer are just meant for exploration and harassing at this point. And of course, the, with the Special Ops dead, these Marines cannot fight off the Zion Tercher. Though, honestly, I'm not sure if they should. It, Zion Turchers make great tanks, so it's a bit of a toss-up whether I actually should be doing this. And once again, low in resources, but still in a slightly safer spot than it was before. Actually, I should probably explore north a bit. You explore north. I'm curious if Shalka has actually built up anything there yet. And then these RPs come in. Okay, so I will have some resource income, but not as much as I would have liked. Because I want to know where Shalka is, because I suspect Shalka is probably at this expansion, and maybe at this northeast expansion. Very likely is northwest expansion, but I can't easily explore there. Oh wait, yes I can. What am I saying? I can very easily explore there. I have the ability to teleport. And no, he's not there very much. He is the middle expansion a little bit, but that won't last long, and... This Zion Veer should really become just a Zion Church. I'll build another Zion Veer for more resource production, but at this point, that's just going to be painful. If that's remaining as a Zion Veer. Get another Zion Church, give it teleport, and. Oh, yeah, Shin Pulsers. Forgot about those. Let's get one of those now. Shin Pulsers make excellent scouts, and obviously are very useful in this sort of game because I need to know what my opponent is doing at all times, and at every timeline. So having the ability to scout out on an air patrol is handy, but I don't know where exactly my opponent is. I don't know where exactly Shalka has set himself up, to be honest. I... Let's see, more ATHCs coming into my main base. I... Where are we? Oh, yeah, auto defense. That's a thing now. Well, I guess I probably should, you know, have done that. Ever. Crap. Okay, well, that's... Lesson learned the hard way. I will have to deal with that in a moment. And on the at this point, just attack. Do something. I don't care anymore. Attack. Foundation will heal you. It will keep you alive. Well, it kills the ATXCs. Okay, not alive long enough. Where's the Bastion? The Bastion is too expensive. Crap. Not enough HP. Really? That's a thing? Huh. 
Okay, now turn into a bastion because I need defense. And you just retreat. Oh, darn it, he's still far too far away. Okay, I cannot... I am in a very bad position for fighting. Where'd my Zion Turcher go? He is in the wrong spot. Totally out of position, and this is as far back as I can go, pretty much. So yeah, my Zion Turcher must get back here soon enough to actually help fight. Oh, shit. Okay, and now Martank coming in. Well, that's wonderful. So now I'm in a very, very, very bad position. However, I can fight with the Martank without issues in the Zion Turcher, so I shall do exactly that. Now, of course, if you had a second Martank and turned that into a Twin Mar, I would be completely out of luck. But as it stands now, I am fine. Get one more Bastion here, so now I should be able to live. I should, oh, well. should be able to live. All my resources are basically focused on that one section in the top, or the bottom right corner of the map right here. Talk about having all one's eggs in one's basket, in one basket. This needs rectifying. And not by you turning into a Zion Turcher. No, not at all. Needs rectifying by you going south and taking what you can. Because if there's one thing Vector needs, it's lots of money. And shoot. And you go back. I, and you start fighting. Because apparently the Zion... Okay, the ZHC is not... Oh, it's not cloaked. Yes. It just ran out of energy. I can now just get rid of it easily. Have I mentioned I like Zion Turtles today? They make excellent tanks. They're clothing harassment units, and they are well. Okay, they're actually fairly expensive. But hey, with teleport, you can pay. They doesn't fall apart too fast. And speaking of falling apart too fast, I need to defend this bottom expansion right here. Hopefully the Zion Turcher will actually be able to kill this ATHC in time before its teleporter comes in. Just undo if the teleporter happened anywhere recently. Like I said, Vekir, create a teleportation. But, okay, now I'm in a bad spot. Now I need a guy better teleport here because I need him. Need him dealing with damage he can. So Shaka doing a really good job pressuring me into keeping inside my own base. This is bad. Where's my LC? Oh, there's my LC. There's my LCRPs. And not enough LCRPs in the south expansions. I don't know where my Zion Veer went. Somehow I suspect to turn him into a... I, somehow I suspect to turn him into this Zion Turcher. And from here on out, it's... Oh, no, there's a Zion Veer here. Well, a Zion Veer. See what I can do about taking this expansion. I don't know how much I'll be able to get away with, but I will try. Oh yeah, right, I lost my ACC. Okay, Aerial Control Centers, also a very useful unit, or also a very useful building, I should say, and one I am currently short of. Very handy for fighting off those pesky Mar tanks, which actually haven't come up much. You know, I, come to think of it, ACC would be a bad idea right about now. There's a lot of mechs building up, and those are all anti-ground units. In fact, I'm gonna just completely cancel this ACC. You're not even going to become an aerial control center. I don't want you to be an aerial control center. You can be a foundation. That's fine. But not an aerial control center. An aerial control center might just bite me in the butt. I think... With all these mechs that Shalk is building, an air force would be the exact wrong move. However, what would be a good move? Probably be Halcyon class. That usually helps out. As would Gate Tech, because I'd let me actually teleport away from this area and into the battle so my units would not be having to drive all the way to battle. However, Gate Tech's also very expensive, and as I mentioned before, I do not have that much money. So let's get Halcyon class working up and at least give me better means of mass ground destruction. While these mechs just are completely wiped away. Though, like I said, I'm still kind of nervous. I, I'm still pretty sure that he has... He's got to have something up his sleeve, because I've, I've been leaving him alone. I've been making a major mistake and leaving him alone, so he's got to have something up his sleeve, but I honestly don't know what. Get to design Halcyon up and work from that. Actually, I think... I wonder if Teth Halcyon's going to be a better choice. I, I suspect he's going to be changing to air very shortly, but I haven't seen him actually do that. I've seen no signs of him doing that. Let's double check back with the 11-10 mark when he was attacking my... Oh, shoot. 
Okay, so that expansion cannot be relied on. It no longer exists. Good thing my south expansions have been otherwise unmolested. Unfortunately, that puts me in a less advantageous position when it comes to my unit count. In fact, where are my units? Let's see, this guy's over here. This guy actually should... You fall back and turn it... Okay, good. I still have the Turchers and Pulsars that I had before, so I don't have to worry about losing too much money. Losing too much from the lack of money. I actually should still have the Zion Halcyon at this point. Let's see, I have... Yeah, those are pieces still alive, and there's a factory that's somewhat proxied. But that should be taking enough damage and not really matter. RP is going towards the north. That's where I want you guys to go. You go here. I don't care about... I don't really care about the factory. I want you to go inside the base. I want you to wreck his stuff up from inside, not from outside. That's your job. You're a special forces team. And... Now we get a Teth Halcyon since I'm sure he's going to be going for air units. I'm absolutely certain of it. The fact that he hasn't... I haven't seen any air units yet, notwithstanding... I'm sure he's building some. No, apparently he's just building more and more cloaked units. Ah, I guess I do need an aerial control center just for Shin Turchers or nothing else. Man, he's really liking those ATHCs. I never realized someone could like ATHCs that much. Okay, well, now that this is done, I can build a Shin Turcher finally. I guess that would explain why he was building so many mechs. Because he figured I'd be going for an air force. And he could at least tear that apart. <sighs> Crap. Okay, well, where's my... I still have shouldn't churches around here. Well, sorry, Zion churches around here, but they're all around his base. Where is my other Zion churcher? I need to find one that... No, Shin church is going down. That's not good. Okay, let's see when the actual attack happened. I think I'm going to be able to fend this off. Well, Zion Church was managing to get rid of one of the Mar tanks quite effectively. No, you! Fall back! Fall back! Try not to die! You! Oh! I told you to try not to die! Okay. You guys move up so that you're not in range of the Mars. And then try to destroy the mechs. The mechs will be of no threat to that Shin Church if they're distracted, which they are. So the Shin Church can get rid of the Mar tanks, and we will survive this. But I still feel like I'm at a disadvantage. Get back in a sh You get back into a Zion Pulsar. And where's my... Okay, there's my Zion Turcher. You learn to teleport. As should you. And... Send the Shin Turcher around for a sec, just to double-check patrol, since apparently I never got that Shin Pulsar that I wanted earlier on, which is disappointing. Very disappointing, because I would have very much liked that Shin Pulsar. Shin Pulsars make awesome scouts, as I've said many times before. And, wait. This is a waste. Okay, granted, I don't want to teleport them south, but I guess teleporting them north is my only choice. You go over here. Protect my RPs. Get rid of that ATHC there, because I need that gone. So right now, Shalka and I are at the same time at 1620 mark, and I should probably jump further into the future. In fact, I... I'm getting... Oh, boy. I'm not getting a lot of resources in the future. I should be building a Zion Veer a bit further up from where I was actually focused. And... Come on, Zion... Oh! I was going to say crawl to victory, but he's not going to, because he's dead. <laughs> crawl to safety! Or, just walk. Walking is probably better. No, wait. Get the Zion Turcher and Zion Pulsar to take care of this. Wait, why is there... Oh, where'd my Shin Turcher go? Oh, my Shin Turcher got killed. No, he didn't get killed. Why is my... Oh, come on. Ah, shoot. I thought I gave you the order to go to that northeast or northwest base and protect it. Okay. Well... That's one RP gone, but still we should be able to last with the other. And... Okay, the ATHCs are distracted and destroyed. Wonderful. Now, protect that base, attack his base. And continue to attack Shalka's base. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get out of this, but I think I might just be able to. We'll figure this out... eventually. 
Oh wait, that sign for, for, was for RP construction. Well, that was a bad move. Okay. Well, you guys go up to the front. Let's go to the front. Where is... You go there. And you guys go down to the... Oh, okay, that's actually a bad move. Crap. Right as I realized that was a bad move, too. Zion Halcyon, go down here. Fight off the mechs. And you cloak, actually. That'll make things easier. You're not tanking for an army, so you cloak. And everything else just gets taken care of by... Where is my money? There is my money. More infantry coming in! Shaka, like I said, very much likes his infantry. And Martang's coming in, destroying my RPs, making my life slightly miserable. But thankfully, no match for Zion Halcyon, which has tons and tons and tons of health. Still, Twin Mars would be very scary. I'm honestly a bit surprised Shaka is not going for Twin Mars. Oh, shoot! He is going for total base destruction, though. Why not? What in the world just happened? Oh! Crap! Two dozen infantry, that's what just happened. That's not something Bastions can deal with easily. I'm not sure if it's dealing with it at all, actually. Okay, this was bad. So yeah, mass infantry, I did not see that coming. I don't know how I didn't see it. That's one problem with Vecchio, that is kind of difficult if you don't get a lot of resources at the start, to be able to scout out what's going on and actually defend against it. Crap, and there goes my everything. I'm now pretty much dead in the water. But if I can get just one more injection of- yes, there we go. Well, maybe not yet. Crap, crawl the victory, Zion Veer! Crawl the victory- oh, that's not victory! That's death! Well, crap. I hate when these things get death and victory mixed up. Ah, but you guys distra- ow! I'll crawl the victory anyway. Might just live long enough. Aha! How about that? You lived long enough. Wonderful. Now I'll need enough LC to be able to get... I need enough LC to be able to get myself another depot, and I might be able to recover. I doubt it, but I just might. There's an outside chance that... No, never mind. He's building an army right in the middle of my base. Yeah, I think this is game. I'm not sure how I could deal with this. Oh, look! Blackbirds! Wonderful. Healing each other. Just all nice and... Well, that's... that's game. Yeah, I don't see any way out of this. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this first-person video of playing Akron. Vecchio versus CISO, and... Have a good night, everybody.